Hello and welcome to yet another interesting topic for the day. Then the topic is what if I tell you that it's resume. As soon as you hear this name, you immediately go back to that physical resume format. All you want to know is what is that is clickable meaning what is that is going to click immediately with the hr and after receiving your resume he is going to call you so whatever it takes in terms of knowing resume or physical resume i think we immediately go stick to a format and start circulating it to all when it comes to employment i think another question and the main question ever remains is to be employable is most important than get an employment and what i'm talking about is not resume today but video resume or a digital resume now this is the topic being covered by skill influencer manish nair so welcome to the most most important topic we all know that for past one year this physical resume has gotten changed to the digital platform or the online platform which is called as digital resume or video resume now the effect of offline to online is also called as domino effect because everything has gotten changed from from the conventional medium to the unconventional one which is online every industry that you see is online nowadays it is selling like a hot cake and people are all sticking to one platform and that is internet so taking a clue from the domino effect i think the the shift has come from the physical or the conventional to the online what has become from a physical resume that is most desired as an impressive resume to an impactful one because the online demands it the conventional medium as i have been telling you is is an effective medium but it has changed to most effective one and which is called as the digital profile of yours and hence digital resume what digital resume also gives you is our video resume gives you is a more comprehensive way to express yourself and maybe cover your entire profile at one go this is all about the backdrop of what video resume or digital resume is all about the emergence of it the importance of it now we'll get to know more closer of what with video resume or digital resume should be but before let's define this a uh, typically video resume is a way for job seekers to showcase their abilities beyond the capabilities of a traditional paper resume the video resume allows prospective employers to see and hear applicants and get a feel for how applicants present themselves so it's more or less the same look and feel but here you are able to see the candidate how the candidate is behaving communicating and the overall aura that a candidate can possibly create in that 1 to 2 minute of video resume or digital resume a video resume is a brief account of a job applicant's professional experience qualifications and interest so three things become very very important to get featured in your video resume or digital resume and that is professional experience qualification and interest submitted to a prospective employer in a video form or a format so there is a definitely form and format to video resume what it should have how it is what will be integrated in a good effective video resume i think we need to talk that so after defining what video resume or digital resume let's move on to discuss more about why video resume or digital resume at this point in time 98% of the employers wish to see a video resume or a digital resume whereas if you look at the pre pandemic time only 17% of the total hiring 
was based on video resume more specific if i talk about those could be fashion industry or a modeling industry which is a part of fashion industry creative field maybe content writers or the creative writers those were the one who used to have actors specifically used to have their video resume which is also called as a is a digital profile which they used to build or a, or a portfolio which they used to build and send it across to the concern industry but today the time has changed 98% of the employers have shown their wish shown their inclination to go through a video resume rather than a conventional paper resume what it also means at the same time is the 20 seconds which an hr takes to go through a physical resume and decide whether this profile is good bad or ugly now gets elongated time to buy for each candidate which would last from 1.3 minutes to 2 minutes as video or digital resume so there's a definite advantage of portraying yourself projecting yourself more professionally and impactfully in the form of video resume now this gives an everlasting impression and it gives a consolidated one as well because you are immediately taken seriously or otherwise it is also as good as answering the first question which invariably lands to a candidate or an employee or a prospective job aspirant is introduce yourself tell me something about yourself so the first comforting question which you can answer very effectively at all point of time you are able to answer it and in the form of video resume which you are building it and sending it across so all is the comparative that we are trying to bring to you from a physical conventional resume to a digital or a video resume at this point let's try and understand how to build a good video resume or a digital resume always ensure that you have a light good light background or a plain background before standing in front of it ensure that it is well illuminated so there should be a good illumination which is falling on that light or plain background from the opposite side so that you as a character is clearly visible from the from the camera that you are shooting it should be no nonsense area meaning it should be definitely away from crowd noise and as far as possible the most quietest hour of the day please record it while you are making it in a standing position record while standing do not sit and record because you are showing your modesty your generosity your humility your groundedness by asking a job and not demanding by sitting in a in a so called you know executive chair and making it more sounding like that you do not require that kind of a job right always be in a asking mode and standing would be a better choice always adhere to some kind of a formal wear so a tie and maybe a suit right or a formal suit or a business suit for a girl candidate as well as a boy candidate formals is a must let it be a natural body language everyone has their own body language so let's stick to it let's not behave something called as a you know learned or imbibed body language from whatever you read or you see let it be absolutely natural because every individual has its has his or her own natural body language so keep it very very straight but while standing ensure that you stand on both the feet and look straight on the camera smile your gesture should complement your posture eye contact is what i have made it very very clear whenever you are looking look at the camera and speak very important is when you are vocal when you are 
seen on camera and recording your vocal should be as high as possible in the sense it should reach the maximum rate of speech should be minimum diction or pronunciation should be as near as possible to that word that you are using and of course when uh, i keep saying this every word and sentence has emotion so emote it with your voice modulation so four important aspect of presentation while you are standing and recording in front of a camera is that your vocal should be high enough to reach the camera if you're not using any kind of a mic then i think your vocal should work here rate of speech the rate of speech should be medium paced so that every word that you speak out should be heard with the right diction which will help you in pronouncing the word correctly and if every word has emotion i think you need to have the right kind of voice dynamics in terms of touching that intonation with the correct voice modulation so this is what of a video resume or a digital resume should be necessarily looked at